good morning, uh, good afternoon, uh, good evening. In this presentation, I'll talk about Type Pro 4 IDE, which brings the modern development experience to Ruby. Before the main topic, let me introduce myself first. My name is Yusuke Endo. My Twitter handle is uh, Mameta. I am a Ruby committer working at Cookpad. Our company, Cookpad, has employed two Ruby core committers, Koichi Sasada, who is an author of the current Ruby's VM, and me. My main contribution for Ruby is the design and implementation of keyword arguments. I first implemented keyword arguments for Ruby 2.0, and I was involved in the redesign for Ruby 3. I also implemented coverage.so, which is Ruby's test coverage feature. You may have used simple cab, uh, which uses coverage.so as a backend. And my recent contribution is the implementation of type of. This is today's topic. Before the main topic, I'd like to show you my recent small improvement for Ruby called Error Highlight. See this code. It attempts uh, to extract a value from JSON data. However, uh, it has type. Uh, bar is spelled as B A R R. By running this code, uh, no method error is raised. Unfortunately, this error message is somewhat unhelpful. In this line, there are two possibilities that raise the exception. One is that reading who uh, returns new. The other is uh, that reading ba returns new. We could not distinguish uh, these possibilities uh, only by the error message. We had to add debug printing and rerun uh, the the program. Since Ruby 3.1, the error message will show more detailed explanation. It says that the no method error was raised when reading buzz, so we can understand that reading bar return nil without rerun. And this feature was originally created by Ruby committer uh, Yuichiro Kaneko, and I completed the implementation. And this is already included in the development branch of Ruby and will be released as a part of Ruby 3.1 this December. This is the agenda of this talk. First, I'll introduce type of and some tools related to types for Ruby 3. And then I will talk about its integration with IDE, integrated development environments such as VS Code. Then I will briefly explain how to use Typo for IDE and will conclude this talk. So first is Typo. This is a static type analyzer for Ruby. The basic feature of Typo is the type inference of Ruby code. For example, consider this Ruby code. It defines user class which has initialized method and creates its instance. This code is very plain. It has no type annotation, just as you usually write. When you feed this code to type of, it guesses method signatures and outputs them in RBS format. In this case, the generated signature says that there is a class definition called user, and it has a method called initialize, which accepts a string instance as an argument. Today, I do not explain how type of analyze is Ruby code. If you inserted in it, please see my previous talk at RubyConf 2019. If you have heard about type system for Ruby 3 before, you may be confused because there are many names. Type of, RBS, Steep, Solve, blah, blah. I'd like to explain each of them in one phrase. RBS is Ruby's official type definition language. TypeProf is a static type analyzer for Ruby. Steep is a static type analyzer for Ruby. Solvay is also 
a static type analyzer for Ruby. So please remember, RBS is the name of a dedicated mini language to describe class and method signatures for Ruby code. And others are names of static type analyzers. Next, uh, you may wonder why there are so many type analyzers for Ruby. This is because they have different philosophies. This is a comparison table between the three tools. The goal of type of is to analyze Ruby code with no modification to the language. In other words, we don't want to require a user to write so many type annotations in Ruby code. For the sake, we put a lot of effort into type inference. The other hand, Steep and the survey requires users to write type annotations as a comment or in a dedicated DSL language. They report uh, almost nothing about uh, existing Ruby code that has no type annotations. I think uh, this is a bit uh, cumbersome. However, uh, if you write type annotation to your code, uh, their rep error reporting is very accurate. Also, their approach is fast. Especially, uh, survey is really fast because the analyzer is written in C++. And this is uh, arguably a good thing for users. On the other hand, uh, our approach is very slow and uh, leads, leads to false positives and false negatives. This is a drawback for type of compared to Steep and Solve, I admit. In a case where type of produces a longest or where it analyzes, its analysis is painfully slow, you can write RBS man manually to guide or accelerate type of. Anyway, uh, I think this is a trade-off. Typeof and Steep are based on RBS language. They accept the same uh, RBS files. Actually, uh, they are using the same definition for the Ruby core features such as uh, array and string. On the other hand, Sobe uses their own language. Steep and Sobe have ID integration. Typeof did not have this feature for a long time, but this year I focused on the development effort of this feature, and I, it's finally working. I have already showed you an example of RBS IR. There are many neat features to express uh, Ruby's code in type level, but uh, I'd like to omit the details in this presentation. The most notable uh, characteristics of RBS is that it is a separate file from Ruby code. The design was chosen uh, because Matt, uh, the, the designer of Ruby, wanted to avoid embedding any kind of type annotations into the language itself. Some people hate uh, this design. Uh, they say, header files suck. Uh, however, the program may be solved, partially solved by type of 4 ID, as I will show later. So next, I'd like to introduce type of 4 ID. Type of 4 ID is a VS Code extension for Ruby. It uses type of as a backend. So assume that you are editing Ruby codes in VS Code. Type of ID monitors VS Code and notifies all code changes to Type of in real time. In this example, Type of notices that one plus string will raise an exception when executed. It reports the positive type error to VS Code, and VS Code shows it to users by drawing a red underline. Also, Type of ID also supports uh, completion in a similar way. Okay, I'd like to demonstrate type of 4 IDE. This is very plain Ruby code. It defines user class features, attribute and name, initialize method, and say hello method. Uh, it also has a simple test. Uh, let's turn on type of. Okay, 
some gray lines are added. Uh, as you see, uh, these lines represent the signatures of each method. Uh, for example, the signature of the initialized method uh, says that it accepts a string and returns a void. And the signal method accepts a string and returns a string. E. Uh, let's try to call use a new constructor with a long number of arguments. Uh, let underline appears. By hovering the mouse cursor over it, uh, you will see a familiar error message. Uh, long number of arguments given to except it one. Next is go to definition. By right clicking a method name and selecting go to definition, you can jump to the definition line. Alternatively, you can click the method name with control key hold. Okay, next is a demonstration of completion. This variable John is a user. So if I type say, okay, say hello is completed. The method say hello returns a string, so this variable method message has a string here. If you attempt to call any method on it, it shows the candidate of grab, hash, scan, blah, blah. So we can confirm type proof correctly if I the type. The last demonstration is a hint for method arguments. If you write an uh, open parenthesis after the method name, uh, it shows a uh, pop-up. This is a bit uh, interesting because it accepts one, only one argument. For demonstration, uh, I extend the argument with an uh, optional argument, the dummy. Then the hint shows two arguments. The second one has a question mark. This means that this argument is, uh, is optional in our base. By the way, uh, the first one is emphasized because now the cursor is placed at the first argument. If we write something and comma, the second argument dummy is emphasized. If we move the cursor, the emphasis responds to it. Okay, great. What I want to say in this demonstration is that the modern development experience is feasible even with the type annotations. Also, TypeProf displays RBS description by interspersing them to a Ruby file. I believe that this is one answer to header file sucks issue. Then I'd like to explain how to configure TypeProf ID to your code base. This slide shows how to configure TypeProf ID. First, you need to use the development version of Ruby because it depends on Ruby's internal API. Second, uh, you need to add TypeProf to gem file as usual. Third, you must configure RBS correction to allow TypeProof to read RBS files of gems that your code is using. Then search VS Code extension by TypeProof and install it. Finally, open your folder with VS Code. I think it should work if you are lucky. Uh, TypeProof ID is very pre preliminary, so I think uh, there are many cases where uh, it doesn't work well. Please give it a try uh, with a warm heart. To be honest, I have never tried uh, raise code yet. I'd appreciate it if you could try uh, plain old and small uh, Ruby code fast. Unfortunately, uh, type of 4ID may not work well uh, even if you configure it correctly. Uh, there are two tricks to use type of 4ID. Why is to write a simple test in each file. The other is to write uh, RBS. I will explain 
uh, them with demonstration. The example I demonstrated contains a test as the last. This test is guarded by if statement with condition $0 equal equal file. This is a trick to execute the code book only when this file is passed to Ruby interpreter directly. Uh, type of use is this code to guess the method signatures. Uh, let's delete this test. Uh, type of no longer guesses a method signature correctly. This is due to the analysis approach of type of. Type of infers method signatures by searching method calls and uh, inferring what types are passed. If type of cannot find any method calls, uh, it assumes all methods accept uh, untyped arguments. This analysis approach brings uh, somewhat interesting behavior. For example, consider you pass a long type to a method. In this case, say how method is supposed to accept a string, but uh, wrongly you pass an integer. However, uh, the method call is not warned. Instead, the method signature is changed to accept not only string but also an integer. I like this behavior because, uh, in my opinion, it is fitted to Ruby, which is uh, very tolerant for types. However, uh, this behavior is not useful in some cases. To make type of one the cosite instead of changing the method signature, you need to uh, write RBS to tell type of uh, a supposed um, method signature. You can write RBS directly, of course, but type proof uh, provides us support. Just click the guest RBS. Then uh, RBS prototype is created by type proof for IDE. Uh, you tweak uh, this definition if needed and save it. Then return to original code. Now the RBS say hello method is shown with a hash mark. Uh, this mark means that the RBS is manually specialized, uh, not guessed. Uh, again, uh, let's pass a long type to say hello method. Now the call is warned instead of changing the method signature. So you can write RBS to fix the method signature. Okay, so I summarize the pro tips. Uh, currently, TypeProf requires a plain old style test in each file to guess method signatures. I admit uh, this design is very arguable because many Ruby users are familiar with a list test framework uh, such as RSpec. Uh, it might be theoretically possible to make TypeProf load RSpec style test, but uh, maybe it requires much more work. And uh, you need to write RBS if you want to fix method signatures. Uh, otherwise, a uh, long method call changes method signatures. Also, if there's a handwritten RBS description, uh, TypeProf uses it instead of guessing from code, uh, which makes TypeProf analysis faster. And uh, also, TypeProf is very slow, uh, unfortunately. Uh, currently, TypeProf for ID stops uh, TypeProf analysis within one second. Uh, if your code is big or uh, complex, uh, TypeProf cannot analyze uh, it within one second, and no guesses will be displayed. Uh, in such case, uh, it is practically uh, mandatory to write RBS to allow TypeProf to analyze your code. Okay, uh, I'd like to conclude my talk. As you may know, TypeProf is bundled to, with Ruby itself. Uh, I'd like to bundle with uh, Ruby 3.1, uh, TypeProf version that supports ID features. I'd appreciate it uh, if you could play with it uh, and give me any feedback. You may wonder if it is ready for production. Uh, to be honest, uh, TypeProf is still very preliminary, uh, but I hope it should work with uh, plain old and small programs. If your code base is large, uh, maybe you first need to write RBS for gems that you are, your code is using. 
this is a repository to place uh, RBS files for some famous gems. Uh, in short, uh, in other words, uh, this repository is a uh, RBS version of definitely typed for TypeScript. Uh, but anyway, currently uh, it only contains a very limited set of gems. So please consider uh, contribute uh, to enrich this repository. And this will help not only type but also steep. Acknowledgement. Uh, I'd like to thank these people for fruitful discussion to help me implement and enhance uh, type -row. Especially, Yuta Saito uh, was involved in the project to implement type -row for IDE uh, as an intern student of our company, QuickPad. He created uh, go-to definition features and performance implement of completion and packaging VS Code extension in 10 days. Only 10 days is great. Uh, without his cooperation, uh, type of for ID uh, would not have been possible. Okay, conclusion. Type Pro 4 ID aims to make Ruby's development experience better without full type annotation. Type Pro is still growing, so stay tuned. That's all. Thank you.